This is Sports Drive. All right, everybody, welcome back into Sports Drive. We are joined now from Moore in Midland. Preston Moore in Midland, or almost at least, still uh, making his way down there for the Randall Raiders uh, regional finals matchup. Preston, just talk to us a little bit about how the drive's been so far and, and making your way down there to, to catch the Randall's game, to, uh, the Raiders game tonight. It's been good. It's been good. I, I actually, it's funny. I was talking to Riley on the show yesterday. Despite being born and raised in Amarillo, I've never been to Midland. So this is the first time I've made this drive. Okay. Um, a little boring, but I'm excited for some exciting baseball tonight, hopefully. Um, I'm about 30 minutes outside of Midland, excited for some baseball. Going to talk to Coach Hamilton live on the 6, and then also going to go live at 5 as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Almost almost there. Just got to gotta hold on for another 30 minutes, and then I'll be there and good to go. Well, Preston Moore, never been to Midland. If you didn't know, Preston, you know, went on a, went on a little cruise recently, you know, had some trips to Orlando. So this one right up there in terms of excitement and uh, heading to, to Midland, Texas. Uh, so don't have, don't have too much fun, Preston, but it will be fun to catch the Raiders. I know you got to catch them last weekend at Hodgetown, now following, around the, uh, following them down to Midland to catch this one. And, you know, you, you've, I know you've mentioned it a lot, just the, the 32 straight wins that they've taken home. And uh, I, I guess just broadly speaking, I'm going to ask you, I know it's going to be hard to answer because uh, we don't know too much about Stephenville, do you think it'll be 34 heading into next week in the state tournament? You know, I, I have to say yes. I have to say yes. I, I do think so. Um, you know, I've been able to – you mentioned I was out of town for a while, but since I've been back, pretty much all I've done is cover Randall. I mean, that's been most of what I've been doing. So uh, I've seen a handful of their games. It seems like they're only getting better. It seems like they're – Again, I, I said this yesterday on the show, I hesitate to use the word unbeatable, but it is beginning to feel that way. I think this is obviously their biggest test. And you do, once you get to a certain level, when you're on a streak like this, uh, it's it's easy to get comfortable. I mean, I think that we saw it with, uh, we've seen it a handful of times over the course of the year. Most recently, I think with Amarillo High softball, um, losing that very first playoff game, obviously they rallied back. Uh, in that first initial by district series, but it is, I think that's a danger when you think about Randall right now, because they are so good and they've won 32 in a row and, you know, they haven't shown us any reason to think that they wouldn't go all the way and continue that streak. But at the same time, if you get too comfortable, especially going into a game against Stephenville, a team that they've played already this season, but at the very beginning of the season, it would be easy to, to get comfortable. think you know what you're going into when the reality is, there's been an entire season of baseball since that win. Um, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. I think that they have what it takes. As long as they don't get comfortable, I think they're going to sweep Stephenville. I hope they sweep Stephenville, obviously. Um, would love to see Randall in another state tournament this year. Crazy year for them. Um, but, yeah, hopefully hopefully they can keep the, keep the streak going. You know, it's interesting because you talk about – having that first playoff loss for, for Emerald High. And I think there is that natural curiosity. You know, what happens when you face a team that can beat you? You face that adversity. Because when you're on a win streak like this, and it feels like you're unbeatable, what happens when that, that doesn't work out that way? And I feel like that's something I wondered about Randall, because there was a lot of situations, even in district play, where they had a close game against, you know, uh, they had a close game against Hereford, or they had a close game against uh, Canyon, or they had a close game against West Plains, and it was like, what's, you know, what's what's going on here? You know, is, is Randall, why, why, why are these teams playing them close? Because they should be a state title contender. And I feel like, to what you said, they have gotten better, it feels like, each and every week. It's something I talked to Coach Hamilton about uh, the other day. And I feel like they haven't totally not faced adversity throughout that win streak, right? We mentioned those other close games they played, the Canyon game the first time around. Uh, they've had injuries they've had to overcome. That first Hereford playoff game was a grind-out battle uh, where it just ended up being a one uh, one run that, that broke up the tie and uh, broke up, you know, what was really a, two pitching gems to that point. So... I feel like, for that reason, I'm not as concerned about them when it comes to the adversity standpoint. I feel like, I, I was wondering at the beginning of the playoffs, I really was, and I even asked them about it, like, how do you make sure, it feels like you've had some slow starts, you know, how do you make sure you, that doesn't happen? And it feels like their confidence is just growing and growing, and they're one of these, these juggernauts that 
isn't going to be phased, at least until state. When they phase, if they phase a team that's better than them at state, it's a different, it's a different equation. But I don't think that this is a team that's going to get rattled by a close game or one loss. I feel like they've proven to this point that they can handle that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, they they have faced adversity, like you mentioned. So, you know, we, we can talk about getting too comfortable, you know, the dangers in that. And, you know, I think it's it's fair to bring that up at all costs or at, at any reason because, you know, it is one of those things where when you do string together this amount of wins, it's always going to be lurking in the back of your mind. Um, that being said, with this team, I don't see that happening. I hope not um, again. And, yeah, I mean, they face plenty of adversity. And even when they do have those slow starts or maybe uh, another team gets on the board first, you know, they don't panic, they stay calm, and they eventually put it together um, to the point where, you know, you look at their last six, seven games. It just has been – when you look at the final scores of these games, it looks like just dominance across the board. Um, and, and sometimes, in some cases, in the middle of the game, it doesn't necessarily always feel that way in the second, third inning, you know. Maybe they don't have any runs on the board and the other team's up, you know, 1-0, 2-0. Uh, you never really know, but they've shown that they can make mid-game adjustments when they need to, and they've shown that they can overcome adversity within those games, even if they get started slowly or slower than they want to. Um, so it's a, it bodes very well for them looking into the future. Again, to your point, state tournament, really everything changes once you get there. Um, every team that's there is going to be really, really competitive, yeah. and every team that's there is also coming in with the same amount of momentum that you're coming in with. Uh, having just won the amount of playoff games that you have won. So yeah. it, it does change a lot once you get there. Hopefully they can win these next two games uh, and we can see what happens when they are there, if they are there. Well, like I said earlier in the show, tune into the news at 5, the news at 6 to catch Preston live, that live interview coming at the beginning of that 6 o'clock show. So you're going to want to tune in for that. Preston, real quick, why don't you, you just show the camera around, show people where you are on the journey. You mentioned how beautiful the drive is. So let's just see it's what beautiful. kind of scenery we're looking at here. It's very flat. Uh, that's that's the highway. <laughs> and I'm pulled over in a dirt parking lot right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I am I'm pretty close. I'm about 20, 25 minutes outside of Midland. So I'll be there soon. All right. Well, you'll see Preston once again. News at 5, News at 6, tune in the News at 10 as well. We'll have more coverage then. Preston, thanks so much. Good luck on the rest of your journey. And we'll see you on the news. Absolutely. Thanks. All right, guys. We'll be right back to wrap up Sports Drive after the break.